Hey guys, I'm in today's video. I'm going to be doing a playthrough and walkthrough of Tone Hub Atrium Audio preset pack. Um, so here is the song. <laughs> Okay, so at the moment, STL Tones has a July sale 40% off store-wide, so I'm actually going to be buying some more presets. Um, I don't know which ones I'll be getting, but I'll check a few out. Um, so that was my song. I used Atrium Audio presets on that one. The reason why I got Atrium Audio is because they have tones from, or they've worked with August Burns Red, Texas in July, Ida Breaver. Um, three of those three bands, I think their tones are amazing. I love their songs. So when I seen that, I got this pack. And another thing was because it had 97 guitar presets and three bass presets. Some of the packs 
only have 30 guitar presets. Um, so 97 sold it for me and the three bass presets. Okay, so what you can do, you can click on this preset info sheet and it brings up this here. This tells you what artists, um, cabs, amp, speaker, mics used. When you bring up Tone Hub in the door, it doesn't actually tell you the artist. It will just show you the preset pack artist. So on the preset information sheet, it tells you the actual artist used. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go through the song step by step. This first bit, what have we got running here? We're on Eddie Van Halen 5150. So I'll solo that. And I haven't changed anything on these presets, so these are straight out of the pack, no modifying at all. And so I've matched that with a Mesa Mark V, I think that is. Mark V, yep, Mesa Cab. So it doesn't show you any notes in this pack. In some of the packs it actually has low gain, mid gain, clean, it tells you everything about the actual preset. Um, it tells you what guitar, but in this pack it doesn't. Okay, so then we'll play them two together. And I actually used um, Easy Drummer 2 for this. I've actually got um, GGD drums as well, but I use Easy Drummer 2 for this. So now we go into, we've got the Mesa still going, and I've used a Bogner. Now, I don't know a lot about amps in the real world because I've never played hardly any, so I wouldn't know what a Bogner actually sounds like in the real world, but in this it sounds amazing. So I can go and check the preset pack, 56, Black Crown Initiate, I've never heard of them before. Oh yeah, this Bogner preset sounds fantastic. And so what happens here, so that's mixed with the... I oh know. Yeah, so we've got the Mesa Mark kind of mid-game with the Bogner. And so the Bogner is going to be my high game throughout this whole song. And I match that with a PV down here, so let's see. Six. And what's that? That's eleven, I think. So, August burns red. PV, Mesa, Cab. So you a speaker. What mic used? So that's the Bogner. With the PV, now for the bass. Now my bass playing is very simplified because I actually use a right-handed bass and I'm actually left-handed so I play all my bass upside down so on a technical song like this it is um, pretty hard for me to actually figure out the bass. I actually got, oh. There we go, we'll get rid of that. So this is the clean section in the song. So as you can see, I got a couple of, I changed the bass here to, I must have lowered the gain or something. So I've got,
This is hard right. And that's a fender clean. And all I've added on this is the delay and the reverb. And then we've got the diesel clean. And no effects on that one. Around this one. Messa Mark 5 clean with delay, and this one's center, but it's just lowered a bit, and with more delay. We'll go down to the next one. This is the same Messa Queen. With probably the same amount of delay as before. And I've added reverb. And so I've just added the and this is the same fender clean as before, but probably without yeah, with no delay, so And that's just the little melody that goes underneath. And so yeah, the only thing I changed on these was adding delay and reverb. I'm going to go back to the PV and the Bogner again. And like I said, I don't know anything about amps in the real world, how they should be sounding. But with STL Tone Hub, you can find any sound. You don't have to tweak anything. You can just run through the list. So what we'll do here, we'll, we'll change this one a bit. Just to show you. And so this is me just clicking through the presets, not adjusting anything. And what we'll do, we'll unsolo this, and we'll do it. Oh, we'll go back there. That's why I think STL Tone Hub is so easy to use when recording. You don't have to um, right, go back to 56. You, know, you don't have to um, tweak anything. You can just go for the presets, find something you like, maybe tweak it a little bit. And so I've yeah, added the cleans down here in this melody. Add of these in again. Yeah, so I'm super happy with um, this Tone Hub preset pack from Atrium Audio. Um, it was actually one of the first ones I've got because it had the 97 presets, bass presets, and the fact that August Burns Red, Texas in July, Ida Breaver tones. Um, if you go over to their website right now, they've got a July sale, 40% off storewide. Like, I'm going to be getting a ton of presets because I reckon they are fantastic. At the moment I've actually got, um, what have I got? David Bendeff, that's a great preset pack as well. Um, well I've got Johns from North Lane, 
and I actually tried out Ryan Hoods. That's only got a 30 or so, so I don't think I'll be getting that. But yeah, I'm going to check a few of these out and um, upload another video when I do another song. So Atrium Audio, STL Tone Hub, fantastic for recording, very easy to use. Um, the quality in the mix is just fantastic. Like with other plugins, I've had to um, tweak around a lot and still haven't got the sound that I wanted. With this, it takes seconds to find the sound that you want. Um, so hit like and subscribe if you liked that video and make sure you go over to the store and check out STL Tone Hub. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.